So welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have a special guest yes, with me here finally. today. Yes, I know it's been so long. CJ is here. And usually we have filmed over at your place, right. but we are here in my house today. If you don't know CJ, if you're not familiar with him, he has a fantastic YouTube channel where he basically covers all things skincare. Totally. You pretty much do everything, right? right. You cover yeah. all, all types of skincare. Yeah, I kind of like... Yeah, where are you at right now? What are your faves these days, would I think, you say? I don't know. Right now I'm kind of trying to get back into more of the korean again mm -hmm. because I, that's where you started i ventured right? off of it yeah. i just was not really excited by korean products for a while mm -hmm. so then i started playing with more green beauty stuff right. but i think i have quite a bit more medical grade right now okay. what, whatever that means yeah but I'm, I'm playing with a lot of that right now so okay. i guess korean medical grade is where i'm at <laughs> okay and then very niche and then everything else yeah, yeah. i mean there's i never do it i all. never just stick to one thing it's too all right boring. And so if you have never checked his channel out, of course, we will put the link below because we're going to be doing another video yes. over on his channel where we're focusing on our favorite serums. Yes, our favorite so, products. Yeah. So do check that out. But today we're going to be focusing on our favorite products for travel because uh, CJ travels a lot for horse shows. Yeah. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah. So like what you do? I mean, yeah. I think yeah. it's really interesting. You're yeah, traveling. So I, you do. Uh, train American Court Horses, so we travel to all over the country for competitions, and we're usually there a minimum of a week, but up to a couple weeks when we go to Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, you get a lot of different work environments, sometimes you're just out in the sun, you mm -hmm. can't help it, you do as much skin protection as you can, but you're out in the sun, sometimes it's cold, rainy, Right. so you kind of have to have products that can cover everything, Right. because you're not totally sure, like I was telling Trish, I just got back from a show in California where Last year it was 40 and raining the entire time. This year it was 70 and, and just sunny, totally sunny. Yeah, so I thought that's what would be interesting for yeah. you to do this, yeah. to pick out your favorite products. Right. And then I was just in Hawaii and so I actually had to take, uh, and you're able to, let's just clarify too, you're able to take full size yeah. products because yeah. so you travel I am, in a trailer. I'm in a 75 foot semi and horse trailer. So I bring, when I bring my stuff, I bring two suitcases, right. <laughs> I bring an entire giant bag, I bring everything I can. Yeah, and so for me, when we were in Hawaii, I was thinking small, so totally. I wanted like really travel friendly. Right. So let's just go ahead and jump in. Why don't you go ahead and start? Okay, perfect. I'm going to start with kind of two i guess mm -hmm. so i'm always going when i'm traveling i'm thinking about products that can do more than one thing because i don't want to have to bring right. 50 products yeah. and honestly by the time we have early mornings at horse shows we're usually up by four and late nights maybe midnight one o'clock it's they're late so i'm looking at products that can just do multiple things and i can just go to bed get ready for the next mm -hmm. day so the two i have here are similar in effect but not similar products the first one being the la roche posay gentle hydrating cleanser and then the other one is brand new actually they just released it it's the mm. ren clean jelly oil cleanser oh so this one's actually really really fun it's kind of one of those oleo gels i guess mm -hmm. it starts a uh, gel consistency breaks down into an oil on your face and then turns into a milk when you add water That's so interesting. it yeah. can be your single your first cleanse your second cleanse morning cleanse it does everything mm -hmm. it takes makeup off takes sunscreen off takes dirt off so this is great because I can literally just bring this and it's one and done. Can I Dude, see it? Totally. I want to smell it. <laughs> it smells interesting. Uh, interesting. The consistency is interesting. Oh, it does. Yeah. Because it, it literally transforms. As, as huh. you're rubbing it into your warm skin, it breaks down into that oil and then kind rinses of medicinal off. medicinal or something. Yeah. yeah. And it leaves this really nice oh, wow. moisturized veil on your skin. Mm -hmm. So it's not that it doesn't rinse off because there's some products that don't rinse off like a right. bomb and you just feel like you're not clean mm -hmm. this one rinses off really well but it just leaves your skin feeling really really moisturized which is great if you've been in the sun like yeah. the last thing you want is to just strip your skin right and then this one i talked about in my best of beauty it's great as well no sulfates has a little niacinamide has ceramide so i feel like this one if my skin feels just kind of depleted Mm -hmm. I can put this on if it feels raw, if I have over retinol, whatever, I can put this on and it just really soothes the skin, which is really unique for a cleanser to be able to soothe your skin mm -hmm. because I don't really usually think of a cleanser as something that's going to soothe the skin. It might be right. able to be gentle or hydrate, but not really soothing. So when I go overboard or just want to use something gentle, this is really, really yeah. great. Super hydrating as the name would suggest. And same thing with this one. Mm -hmm. I use it first cleanse, second cleanse. I, I've 
gone through three bottles of this in the last couple of months because I've only been using this to cleanse. It's so simple. And did you say, I'm sorry, I missed, is this like a milky cleanser? Or yeah, a milky it's a, cleanser? kind of okay. like a milky, almost gel. Mm -hmm. It's not purely a milk, but it's got a little bit of a gel slip to it. Right. Really, really unique. I know a lot of people have talked about it, but it's great. And I've just been stuck on it. Oh, Since nice. I've started moving, this has been the only thing I've been cleansing with. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel like I'm missing out. Wow. And nice. it's cheap. I think it's 14 bucks for this. Wow. That this is a great like price. This one's like 35 right. because it's Ren, but this mm -hmm. one is 14 15 And do you need to use very much of this one, the Ren one? Um, Maybe like a nickel, mm -hmm. nickel size not dollop, not too much. Mm -hmm. It oh. feels like you're not going to have enough when you're putting it on your face, but then as it melts, mm -hmm. it spreads. Yeah, I'm very interested to check this you one out. You should try it. Yeah, I think I know really that you have liked Ren products yeah. before. Like, yeah. I think that we need to talk oh. about this one. <laughs> Definitely. All right. So I am not one of those people who does like a whole skincare routine when I'm on the airplane, right. but yeah, I don't either. There, there are a couple of things I do like to bring if I'm going to be on a flight that is, you know, more than four hours totally. or if it's going to be five hours, because I definitely do notice that my skin will get dry and right. kind of parched. So what I did bring, uh, I brought a couple things on the flight that I'll tell you about. Um, and I also use this daily as well, just while I was on my vacation. And this is the Live Botanical Radiance Elixir. And this is the small travel size that came in the Clean Beauty box. Okay. And the deal with the Radiance Elixirs from Live Botanical are um, they're seasonal. So there's always going to be the base custom blend of mushrooms. So um, Carolyn is doing, uh, like I said, there's there's always going to be that that base of mm -hmm. the mushrooms that's going to have polysaccharides, amino acids, and niacinamide from the mushrooms. Right. Um, and then seasonally, it's going to change, you know, for what's in season. So this is the one for spring. It hasn't been released yet. So right now it is exclusive to the Clean Beauty Box. And this one has chamomile and geranium in it. And it's really beautiful. Yeah. So just when I was on the plane, I would just miss my face just a couple times. Oh, so I wasn't... it's a, a mist. I oh, was yeah, thinking I'm sorry. it was like an oil or something. Yeah, so it's an elixir and it oh, has just okay. a really pretty mist. I don't want to spray too much oh, wow. of it because it's a small bottle. But, um, you know, I don't go crazy on the plane. I'm not like constantly misting myself. But just, just a couple times yeah. just for a little refresh. And then I did use it, you know, day and night, um, you know, after my skin or after I would cleanse right. my face, I would use it um, morning and night. And it's just super beautiful, great for travel. Carolyn has these minis on her website, so it's great for travel. Yeah, and, it's a nice yeah. size. So I really love her elixir slash mists yeah. to, to clarify there. And this one is great and it is still available. I'm pretty sure the, the Clean Beauty Box for February, March is still available. So. This was a huge favorite for travel and again, perfect size for, for traveling and yeah. being able to bring on the airplane. Take a look at that. Yeah. So next thing that I bring to when I travel and I don't really use a lot of them at home. So it's kind of weird that I rely on them so heavily at the horse shows, mm -hmm. but rarely at home. It's an eye cream and it's mm -hmm. usually going to be a kind of a thicker eye cream. Mm -hmm. Like I find that when I was at this last show, if I didn't use something thicker at night, I would start to get those dehydrated lines around totally. my eyes. Totally. Yeah. I noticed that with travel I don't as know well. what it is yeah. because normally uh -huh. I can just take all my skincare yep. up and I don't need an eye cream. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of superfluous. Yeah. But I've been really loving this one. They sent it to me actually. It's from Darla Beauty. It's the hmm. snail eye cream. Mm -hmm. It's my snail. camera doesn't focus that great, so you do actually do the have full, to do the full. Yeah, the full I know. Beauty. You got to make sure it's well, focusing here. in there. I know. You can kind of see it. It's kind of a thicker. Most snail products tend to be on the thinner side because mm. snail mucin is thin. Mm -hmm. But this one has, I want to say, ceramide, ceramide, snail, and some aloe in it, and mm -hmm. it's just a really nice. See it looks if you can like it's a, a really bit bright of a, white color. Yeah, it's a little bit of a thicker. There you go. I, there you go. <laughs> thicker eye cream, that and I it. just put almost like a mask. I put a thick layer on, mm -hmm. I'll do the rest of my routine and then just let it sit overnight with kind of having that white ring around my uh -huh. eye. And my skin the next morning just looks really, really nice. I can use a smaller amount during the day and it works well. Mm -hmm. And these products, I don't really remember because they weren't that exciting, but they're not that expensive. And this was a total standout, which again, I'm not a big eye cream person, so mm -hmm. it was But the eye cream you unique, really like, yeah. But I really, really like this. Is there a scent to it? No. Or is unscent? None. Yeah, that's yeah, nice zero. too. Sometimes I always find that the snail oh. products tend to be tend to be scentless unless you mm -hmm. go to one of the road shop brands. Oh yeah. That's really nice. And sometimes when eye creams specifically have a strong scent, that really Burns. can bother me. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So that's nice that that is fragrance free. Yeah, it, it's yeah. a it's a good product. 
Great, so the next product I'm gonna talk about is another one that I particularly like for the airplane. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm just not gonna bust out right. the, the sheet Everything. mask or do the whole right. thing. When people talk, the, talk about how they do like a full skincare routine on the airplane, I'm just, I don't know. I can't I'm imagine trying to get into my bag, exactly. Yeah. I can't get I'm just move not, enough. Right, I'm just not gonna do that. But this is fantastic for the airplane. This is the January Labs Moisture Renew Mask. There we go, now it's into focus. And I think I've talked about this a couple times, but really not enough because right. I love this product. First of all, it's very reasonably priced. I forgot to put down the price tag on my notes, but I think it's around 20. It's not that much over 40. I don't know. I'll, I'll put it down below, but it's very reasonably priced. It has squalane, avocado oil, hyaluronic acid, sunflower seed oil, aloe, lactic acid, shea. It does have palm oil. Mm -hmm. And before I got this, I mean, I'm not like super, super strict on palm oil, but I am trying to avoid it if possible, right. unless I know for sure the brand has really, you know, clarified that it's a sustainable source. So I, I have to say I haven't vetted their palm oil, but right. I'm assuming that probably January Labs has tried to get it from a sustainable, ethical source, but I can't say that I she for sure like have checked that, that out. Would. But yeah, have gone a little bit more in depth on that. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know that there is palm oil in here, and, and I haven't personally, you know, checked the sourcing on that, so I just wanted to put that out there. Um, but the reason why I really like this for the plane is it does a really great job of moisturizing, and when you put it on your skin, you can't see it. Really? Oh, <laughs> so it's that's just nice. sort of like you're putting it on your face, you you pat it in, and then it just absorbs right in. So you're not making a big show of your skincare right. routine. It's more like a moisturizer. Yeah, than, exactly. Yeah. And I even put too much on, and I patted it on my husband's face. Perfect. And so if he's going to do that, you know that it's like it's, low it's key. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I love that it has lactic acid in, in, in it yeah. as well. So if you're looking for a great lactic acid product that is really gentle and very moisturizing, really great price, um, I highly recommend this. And I think that maybe even January Labs is on, at the detox market now, I want to say. It's either that on detox or credo. Right. Um, so anyway, it's just a really great product. And so then these two together on the plane were great really, really great, yeah. especially on the ride home, because after having been in the sun a lot and using a lot of SPF, I definitely felt it on the plane yeah. ride. I oh, went to yeah. the bathroom and I was like, oh my Your God, I'm crispy. looking, yeah, I <laughs> know, especially with my new added gray right. hair. I was like, wow, I'm really feeling <laughs> old. Let's get that hydration going. So yeah, so I really needed, I really needed something uh, to make my, my skin feel a little more alive Makes on sense. the airplane ride home. Totally. Um, and then also just for travel, it's super easy if you want to have a hydrating like moisture mask um, while you're traveling. This is, that's a really, really good one. Nice. Yeah. So my next product, I'm going to stay in the snail category for a minute. This one has been in my routine forever. I think this is probably yeah, one of the, talk about the that first a lot. products yeah. I've used. It's the Cosser X Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. All right, let's go. Let's we'll get go, the... We'll block <laughs> yeah. everything. Full hand. There, there we go. go. We got it. <laughs> this is a great, another, just a great product. You can do a couple layers of this if you wanted to do a... I don't know, seven skin method. Mm -hmm. What I usually do if I'm trying to be quick, I'll do a couple layers of this and then the next product I'm gonna talk about and it's perfect. Snail is a really I nice- see the texture. Go I'm for so it, it's unique. About this. Yeah. It's really unique, there's no scent. Ooh, that and is like it's gooey, kind of gooey, snaily, yeah. It's what you would expect from snail. But it's, snail's a cool ingredient because barely it has- any scent. Yeah, barely feels any really scent. good. It has so many compounds within snail. So snail's mm. not like hyaluronic acid where it's a single ingredient. It has a bunch of ingredients that make it up mm, because it's a great. natural compound. So it has copper tripeptides. It has sodium hyaluronate in it, or sodium PCA. One of the sodium, or one of the hyaluronic acid. Yeah, one of is. the hydrators. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's it's just a really soothing, hydrating, mm, fortifying really product. So when you get like too much sun, or mm -hmm. you your skin's dehydrated, I didn't bring a hyaluronic acid serum, but I brought this. Did a couple layers, and you could put an oil, moisturizer, whatever, and your skin just feels better if your skin's irritated it soothes it it's a great just all-around product and you know when people use snail products you see that they start to do their routines and they can't leave it out mm. it's like one of those ingredients once you I use can see it why. <laughs> yeah your yeah. skin plumps it soothes it takes away redness it's one of those ingredients that once you get hooked on it mm -hmm. you keep it in your routine in some capacity and right this one's great again maybe 14 dollars. it's at mm. ulta now oh nice and it's it just a really really Standard snail product, super high concentration. The 96 means 96%. So, oh my gosh, it's, wow. it's nearly all 
snail mucin. So if mm -hmm. you want a pure concentration of it with not a whole lot of other stuff in it, this is a great, 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 great product. Yeah, I have to admit, I've never gone down the road right. of the snail yeah. mucin. There's something about well, it's it that's weird. always kind like, of freaked it, me it's out. It's weird but, to yeah. talk about. But yeah, but feeling it on my skin, because I have to say, my hands have been really, really dry right. since I've been back from yeah. vacation. Like, it's looked crepey in a way that I've never really totally. seen before. And the sun will do that. <laughs> so, like, the sun just sucks yeah. the air, life out of them. And, um, because I actually didn't, I totally spaced out on bringing body care products on the vacation. I just brought a tiny Can't little, I know, I brought a tiny little travel bottle and it just didn't cut it. Um, so yeah, just instantly my hands look a lot yeah, you better. You get that hyaluronic mm -hmm. acid pumping effect just immediately right. and then you get the additional benefits as oh, you use really it nice. more. Yeah, yeah, I like it. All right, so the next product I wanna talk about actually is the Dr. Hauschka Cleansing Cream. I have talked about this a lot, and you can see <laughs> you can see these tubes are just so travel friendly. Totally. And this has been a perennial favorite for I don't even know how long. As I was gonna say, you've talked about it <laughs> oh quite God, a few times. Yeah. I've seen Marie talk about it because of she, you, I think. Yeah, she did a whole dedicated video yeah. to this, so I will try to find her video and link it below for you. It was like, a, I'm pretty sure it was just like a 10 minute no, I video think it was just completely about that. dedicated yeah. to this um, product. It's kind of a unique product. It is really unique. And um, it's the, the main ingredient in it, I think the first ingredient is water, but the second ingredient is the sweet almond yeah. meal. It's yeah. just like a paste. So it's not really a cream when you uh, squeeze it out of the yeah, tube. No, it's, it's more it's like totally a paste. paste. And it has a very interesting smell. I was actually just talking about it with Allie yesterday, mm -hmm. Allie from Heart of Gold. Oh yeah, yeah. And she described it as savory, which is just that completely nails the that description nails it. of it. And it's kind of weirds people out probably that it has peanut oil in it. I know some people aren't gonna be too crazy about that. It doesn't bother me at all. There is also alcohol in it and they don't specify which alcohol, so I don't know if it's gonna right. be more the drying type yeah. or the fatty alcohol. I, I don't say really that know. Dr. Hoshka uses the drying type, but I think that's that's kind of their preservative method system. I, I think you're probably right. Preservatives or they don't use a lot of traditional preservatives, yeah. but it does tend to be whatever denatured alcohol or something mm -hmm. like that. So it's a you kind of pick your poison right. on that one. Yeah, so I think some people have been critical of it for that reason, the right. alcohol and the peanut oil, but I have never had any issues with either one, like the alcohol drying out yeah. my skin or the peanut oil giving me any you know issues with breakouts or whatever. But if obviously if you feel like you would be sensitive to that, then that might be an mm -hmm. issue. But there's calendula extract in here. And Phyllis, I know I've looked up, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly either, but I know I've looked up the, the herb or that extract and why Dr. Hauschka uses it, but it's escaping me now. There's chamomile in here. I just, I love this product so much and I actually put it to the test um, while I was in Hawaii. I had some SPF on. I also had just a little bit of a tinted moisturizer, not a ton, mm -hmm. but I used this twice. So once as a first cleanse right. and then once as a second cleanse. Yeah. And then I took a white towel and dried my face off to see if I got everything yeah, off. Yeah. And it actually did remove everything. Really? Yeah. I, so I, I was I pretty that. impressed with it. Yeah from that end, which I had never really tested it in that way, but it's just a very interesting, unique um, cleanser that I really enjoy having on hand pretty much at all times. And the only, but really the only time I do purchase it is when it's on sale yeah. because it is quite expensive. Is I mean, expensive, I think yeah. this tube is probably like $35. Yeah. Um, so I will get it on sale either at Pharmaca or if I'm, yeah, you know, down right. the, down the aisle at new seasons yeah. or whole foods and I see that it's on sale, then I'll grab a tube if I'm almost running out. Uh, cause I really do like to have it on hand because it is just so unique and, uh, I really like using it in the morning as mm -hmm. well. It kind of wakes me up that sort of unique, sort of powerful right. smell yeah. gets me going in the morning. How long do you find a tube will last you? Oh, it lasts me a long time. Yeah. Like you, your eyes are better than mine. What is the expiration on there? January, 2021. So you've got oh, time. I've got time. Got time. <laughs> I've got time. I would say I, I know that I've used it past the expiration date and it's probably because the alcohol yeah. in there does such a good job yeah, of preserving I so. it. Yeah. Um, I, I would say say it lasts at least a year. Oh, so you're, it if might be not an, more than an a expensive year. first purchase or initial purchase, mm -hmm. but then it will last you. So that, oh yeah, that, it definitely lasts. And the other thing, and I know I'm going to get questions about this is how do I get the tube to do this? I have a tube bringer and I actually have the Dr. Hauschka tube bringer. Those help a lot. Oh my God. They're amazing. I use them on toothpaste, like ointments, mm -hmm. like medication ointments. I right. mean, I use the, anything that I can do a tube bringer on. Yeah. I'm doing the tube bringer yeah, on. I'm obsessed. So well. Totally obsessed. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so the next product I use is another soothing product, and I have talked about this brand as much on my channel just because I've used through them and I just haven't got back to purchasing them. Not mm -hmm. because I don't like them, I actually really, really love the brand. I just haven't got back to it. So this is the Truth Treatment System Omega-6 oh, right. Healing Cream. Mm -hmm. Now this product, I don't use it on its own. It's When I use it on, in, on its own, it's like one of those oils or bombs that doesn't sink into the skin. It kind of mm, sits more over occlusive. the top, but I use it mixed in. So like this morning, I put a little bit of moisturizer I was using, a very tiny amount of this, and I mix it mm -hmm. in and put it all over my face, and I love it that way. It gives enough occlusive enough of an occlusive layer but then it also kind of gets pulled in i feel like like when you use a mist before an oil it kind of helps right. it absorb a yeah, little yeah, bit yeah. but this is really nice it's a bomb consistency and it has his tetrahexadecal ascorbate right. in it so it's yeah. that super soothing lipid form of vitamin c and do you want it? my viewers might yes. not be fully aware of the backstory yeah, yeah, yeah. of this brand so, so yeah i think it's interesting doctor or pharmacist ben fuchs he actually was a pharmacist obviously like a traditional pharmacist mm -hmm. where he would do the pills and help people yeah. with their medications and whatever and then he started playing with making products for people so you would have somebody that would come in with a burn and he's like well let me use my mm -hmm. knowledge of medicine in the body right. and make a little compound for this guy and so that's where he started incorporating the the thd ascorbate was he mm -hmm. found that it was soothing, it wasn't irritating the skin, but it helped to repair and regrow skin. And his first person that he tried it on was a guy who was in a helicopter accident and mm. had third degree burns. And he made oh, this wow. special whatever bomb for him mm -hmm. with the tetrahexadecal ascorbate and he was seeing like these right. incredible results. So that is the basis of his brand. He believes in three like main ingredients, mm -hmm. vitamin C, vitamin A, retinol, and then alpha hydroxy acids. Those are kind of his right. core three. Yeah, yeah. But his products don't have any filler. He doesn't use water in his products. Mm. And the base of all of his products is that vitamin C derivative. So, so they're gonna last a long yeah, time. Yeah, and mm -hmm. this one I've had it for I think two years. Oh my God. It just wow. keeps going. Mm -hmm. And I think this has the least amount of the vitamin C and it's like 25%. Mm -hmm. So oh, wow. you're still getting a ton of mm -hmm. it. It's expensive to buy at the beginning, but I, I'm a teeny tiny just little bit, yeah. It. This will last me a month though. Oh wow. Like you use mm -hmm. a micro sized amount. Yeah. Super soothing. You get vitamin C, so this can be about three or four products in one. A soothing product, a moisturizing product, your vitamin C product, and it's just really, yeah. really nice mixed in. So And this, just to clarify, he's probably used about ninety eight percent in there. I don't and know he's if saying that that's to gonna last him a month. <laughs> There's this little bit, that'll last me a month. Maybe this little dot right here is how much I'll use. And then and you said you mix it in. Mix with it in uh -huh. and then put it over and it's mm -hmm. great that way. What's your favorite thing to mix it with? Just basic moisturizer. Like oh, right okay. now I'm mixing it with a My Shell Hyaluronic Moisturizer. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a weird product. I don't know if I really like it, but mm -hmm. mixed in with it, it thins it out yeah. and then pulls it in and it it's right. great. I mm -hmm. really, really like it. Nice. Yes. So you're kind of creating your own I'm, I'm making it, it work, yeah, because mm -hmm. I wasn't using it. I'm like, is it expensive? It's a good right. product, but I need to use it. Yeah, right, exactly. Okay, so um, the moisturizer that I brought on my trip was the Dr. Hauschka, well, not the cleansing cream. We are talking about the Quince Day Cream. And <laughs> I don't know if I've actually talked about this moisturizer that much on my channel, but I really adore this moisturizer. It is fantastic. This one does not have peanut oil in it. Oh, really? I don't think there's any alcohols in this. I just, I did a quick uh, skimming of the ingredients before filming here. It's got apricot kernel oil, carrot root extract. It doesn't have the carrot seed. It's not the mm -hmm. EO, it's the root extract. It again has that anthelus or anthelus extract there's there is shea in here so that's right. gonna be tough for some yeah. people um, there's almond sweet almond oil avocado there's also beeswax in here so it's it's pretty rich As, yeah it's so, be a thicker cream yeah and I would say this is one of their lighter ones like the oh, rose seriously? day cream really? like the rose day, they call that a day cream that's really heavy hmm. I would say I use that one at night when my skin's really dry 
Um, even their rose light is pretty heavy. So <laughs> their creams are pretty heavy. And and I stick with their like their old school line. Like this has been around forever, the cleansing yeah. cream. This has been around forever. And these are the, the mainstays and these are the really the few of the Dr. Hauschka line that I really enjoy. Yeah, yeah I know you've talked um, about a few of their yeah, products and, if you and want, just have continued to talk about I'm them. I'm kind of curious what you think. I think there is alcohol in it. Doesn't it smell like there is? It has like a little is? bit like of that yeah, stink to it. Yeah, it kind of smells like it. It smells like there is. It's got but that it's a, typical like Dr. Hoshka smell. It's like a fruity smell with alcohol. I don't know. Yeah. Like a fruity alcohol. And it even almost has that kind of savory scent yeah, to it. Yeah, I could see it's that. It's so interesting. It's so Dr. Hoshka, and I love it. And the reason why I, I always go back to it is, A, it's fantastic for travel. Right. It's never going to break on you. It's going to get through TSA. Yeah. Which is huge. Yeah, and, and so for that, it's just perfect. And also one time when I was traveling, actually, I, I think it was that place that might have been the Allison. Oh, And yes. Andy and I went there uh, like years ago yeah, yeah. and I got a facial there one time and I had just washed my face. So I had nothing on my face, but all I put on was this. Mm -hmm. And when I went for my facial, she was like, Oh my God, your skin looks amazing. What did you just put on that it? And I was like, means it's a good product then. I was like, Dr. Hauschka. You can't go away <laughs> so from So when after like I got that compliment, I was like, that's some good stuff. Seriously. <laughs> so anyway, so that has always like, ever since I got that compliment after just using the Dr. Hauschka, I was like, You're staying I, I in love it, routine. I love it, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> So that again, it's another one of those things where it's not like total top shelf where, mm -hmm. you know, I use it all the time, but because I love traveling with it and I love reaching for it every once in a while, if I know I'm running low, like I'm, I'm starting to run low on it now, if I see it on sale, yeah, start again, looking for the deal. new seasons, whole foods, right. I'm going to grab it so that once I run out of this, I don't even have to worry about it. I, I'll, I'll have one on the backup. Makes yeah. sense. All right, so my last product was one I actually wasn't super fond of for a while. It's This is the Sulwasu Radiance Energy Mask. We'll see if you can see Got that. It it's a really beautiful <laughs> container. It is came, it walking in there? Yeah, Did it came with focus? like this. It worked, yeah. It came with this little like, jade massage mm -hmm. thing. It was like a mini gua sha tool. So I picked this up from Beauty Tap, which is a Korean e-tailer. And I was telling Trish, they always do like a deal of the day. So I don't know if it's every week or every day. I haven't actually checked, mm -hmm. but it'll be like 50% off. So this is a maybe $160 when you oh, buy it. Yeah, this is an expensive line. Or 80 or 100. It's big. Okay. And I think I got it for $40. So That's like, okay, amazing. well, let me try yeah. it. I like Sulwasa. I've had a lot of luck with their products. I used it at home and I was kind of like, it's an okay overnight mask. It, nothing great. But I took it with me to the horse shows because I'm like, I again, it was it's kind of like this. It was expensive. I want to use it. I don't want to mm -hmm. just waste money. So I took it to the horse shows and I found this to be amazing. I can do one of these cleansers and put this on and I don't feel like I'm missing anything. Mm -hmm. It kind of works like a serum and a mm -hmm. moisturizer all in one for me. Mm -hmm. I'll find that my skin is plumped. It feels more firm, I guess. I don't mm -hmm. know if it's just from that hydration property, but... It feels hydrated, feels moisturized, feels plumped, and my skin just looks really, really good the next morning. Mm -hmm. So once I did that, now I can't, I haven't gone to a horse show without it. I've had it for probably, <laughs> you've said probably it's for It's your top shelf months. horse show yeah, product. Yeah, it's, like, it's like a top shelf. I keep it in my bag and I'm uh -huh. going to have to repurchase it for that because I really, really liked it. And, and what's the, what is it again? What's the name of the official the name of it? Radiance Energy Mask. Radiance and it's, Energy Mask. It's supposed okay. to be an overnight mask, so not like a, I a traditional mask. I smell it too, because sometimes their be products can be fragrant. highly scented, yeah. right? Which I never would have. Oh, this if, one's actually not too yeah, bad. Yeah, no. If you would have asked me a year ago if I would mm -hmm. repurchase this product, I would say no. I don't even use it. Will not repurchase it. Waste of money. And mm -hmm. now that I've started using it at the horror shows, I'm like, oh. Yeah, this one's nice. It's like the eye cream. I won't use it at home, but mm -hmm. I cannot go without it. I don't know if the green cap is just like being suggestive to me, but it has a green tea yeah. kind of marine scent. I would agree with that. Yeah, I it think doesn't the, have that perfume. Yeah. I think it's supposed to have like jade juice in it or <laughs> jade, jade water juice. i don't it has jade something okay i don't know what right like i said to trish i don't have the ingredients i, well, threw I the box it could have a while. jade plant something jade or other plant. in it i don't know it, it's got jade something but mm -hmm. whatever it is i know nothing about the ingredients but i really have now <laughs> come to love it you. yeah i've come yeah. to love the product sometimes you just gotta just use a product Play and if with you like it, it exactly. don't question it yeah exactly just go with it all right, so the last product I'm going to talk about is an eye product and sort of like the reverse of what you were talking mm -hmm. about. You said that usually you don't take an, or right. you do, you don't yeah. usually yeah. use an don't eye product at one. home, but you bring one for traveling. Exactly. 
Um, I usually don't bring an eye product with me when I'm traveling because I'll just use whatever moisturizer right. I'm using um, and then I'll just bring that up to the eye area. But I have been really liking the Biosense Squalane and Peptide Eye Gel. And I'm gonna show you what the tube looks like because it's just so cute and small. I feel there like last we time we were getting together, you were talking about wanting to purchase this. Yeah, I so I think maybe, we yeah. So I don't know if I had the small one and then I said I was gonna yeah. get the large size or whatever, but I do think I've talked about this product a couple times. I think maybe it's been on a favorite mm -hmm. list. I, I can't remember. I don't even know if it's been on a yearly favorite. I'm, I'm right. not exactly sure, but I know I've mentioned it before. Um, and I've been really liking it so much that I was like, okay, I really want to travel with it. Yeah. And I knew that I still had some left in this one. So I decided to bring it with me and I just really love this product so much. Um, I think I have written down some key and gear. Oh yeah. I was kind of surprised. I forgot that oh, it has the, right. the text, the, yeah, you yeah, say yeah. It, tetra, hexyldecal ascorbate, exactly. the you THD. It. Yeah. So it's got the vitamin C derivative in here. It's um, got a great ingredients list. Yeah. So it's got aloe squalane, of course, cause that's what it says in right. here. It also has niacinamide in it and it's got the peptides in it. And I love the texture. Let's see if I can show you guys. Um, it's got this gel like texture and, uh, it just absorbs in, I don't know if you oh, want to yeah. go ahead and play yeah. with it because I've got the full size. I, I think there should be some left in there. Oh, it's kind of like a gel it's cream. Like a, yeah. It's like a creamy gel. Exactly. And it moisturizes beautifully and it doesn't irritate my eyes at all. I can take it around the whole orbital area. Right. Um, I'm just super impressed with it. And like I said, I liked it so much that I ended up getting the full size and I liked it so much that I wanted to travel yeah, with it. It feels super hydrating too. Yeah. So I really, really like it. And I don't know, um, how long I've had it for. Maybe it's been a couple years now since I bought the, since I got the trial mm -hmm. size and then decided to buy the full yeah. size. And once I run out of my full size, which I'm pretty close to running out, I think it's hard to say because right. it is an opaque. Yeah tube and um but i've been using it i would say maybe four times a night i mean four times a week oh wow um alternating with a couple of other products but i'm pretty close to being out of it and i will definitely repurchase it well, that's for big. sure if you're reaching for it that much and repurchasing it that's a good yeah time. yeah so i really like it so um so yeah i was really happy that i brought it for travel and i do think that biosance makes these minis for pretty much everything they make which are nice to have for travel yeah so again i think that um sort of like the live botanical i think it's great when companies make those travel yeah. sites available so that you can try before you buy the totally. full size and then also for travel that's fantastic so right. that's it for me on my products for travel yeah, I think and i think covered you it. covered it too so i yes. think that's it and thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to head on over to cj's channel so that you can watch um, what we have chosen for our favorite yes, serums. Yes, favorite serums. Yeah, and I will link below your Instagram and of course your channel just in Perfect. general. And we will see you over there. Awesome, see you later. Bye-bye.